Hello Leo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 22nd to the 28th of February 2021. So let's pull your overarching energy and let's get started. So what do we have for Leo please? Angel, Spirits, Guides, message for our lovely Leos. 22nd to the 28th of February 2021. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Leos. The card has flown out, so let's go with that one. We have, oh my goodness, we've got the world. It's a very big card, the world. Okay. Message for Leo, please. Angel Spirits Guides. What is the message that Leo needs to hear for the week thank you message for our lovely leos thank you okay so, oh nice <laughs> we've got light okay okay message for leo please angel spirits guides message for our lovely leos for the week What does Leo need to hear, please, angels? Thank you. Oh, I mean, that's beautiful. Opportunity. And I love this angel just being open to be showered, you know, with opportunity, good things. Very, very beautiful energy. Okay. Some kind of light here, seeing the light, light at the end of the tunnel, stepping into your light. I mean, I like the light energy. You are one of the lights of tarot anyway, um, so even the zodiac system as well. Leo is a light. You are ruled by the sun. So it feels an empowering week for some of you. Let's pull three cards. So, you know, by now, Leo, the first card is the issue or challenge. Second card is Advice from Spirit. Third card is the Outcome. And then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, two cards. Ten of Swords. And the Four of Swords. Advice from Spirit, we have Judgment. And we have the Page of Cups as your outcome. Okay. So can we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for Leo, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides. Can we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for Leo, please? 22nd to the 28th of February 2021. Thank you. What do we have for Leo? Okay. Four of Cups. We have the Devil. Page of Cups. We have the Six of Cups. And bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Pentacles here. Lots of fours, which is, is foundational energy, can also be stagnation energy as well. Okay, Leo. Let's clarify this devil. Let's clarify this devil for Leo. What is this devil for Leo? It's card of Capricorn. Thank you. Okay, so I have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, Leo. It's an interesting reading, I have to say. Because for some of you, you see the boundary, and I always find it interesting, this circle. For some of you, something seems, feels like it's coming full circle this week. 
you have the opportunity to draw a line under something, step through to a new phase of your life. Um, and that's what the world is. It's a Saturnian energy, which means that the journey that we've been on, it's the end of the fool's journey from innocence to experience. Uh, it's all about evolution of the heart, mind, soul energy, you know, spiritual growth and so on and so forth. And the tests that we go through on life journey when we have many cycles and there's definitely this energy that something has the opportunity now to come to a completion, a final completion. Yeah, and for some of you, there's going to be some kind of decision on whether you step through to a new phase of the, your life or you repeat something, you go back, you repeat a cycle. It feels like a powerful energy and it's karmic because for some of you, and I, and I have to say, the cards are telling me, have you learned the lesson yet? Have you learned the lesson yet? Yeah. Because there is an opportunity to break free of some karmic cycle. And karmic cycles are tests, challenges that are, uh, that are asking us to um, learn from past mistakes, learn from past experiences, but not repeat them. And if we don't learn the lessons, we repeat the cycle. For some of you, there could be a cycle this week that's happening. You have the ability to draw a line under something or go back around the cycle again. And that's what the cards are saying. So there is a real energy of the opportunity is going to be presented to some of you. It is coming back round. And again, there is an energy of have you seen the light? Yeah seen the light and it's interesting because you see the lighthouse i'm just looking at that card now i haven't even noticed that before and the lighthouse is a warning to ships isn't it um that they're venturing towards rocky territory rocky terrain uh where obviously boats and, and situations can be damaged so, you know i'm definitely getting some kind of warning energy here for some of you spirit is warning you they're warning you have you seen the light to do with this situation? Because for some of you, there is somebody coming back into your life. It feels to do with, I mean, it can be any situation. It feels to do with a love situation. But for some of you, it could be friendship. It could be to do with a past connection, call it what you will. Somebody who hurt you deeply. Somebody who really hurt you and it took a while to get over. There was a long period of recovery and a struggle to get over. But for some of you, you are releasing from the pain. That's what the Ten of Swords in the challenge position is all about. Whatever hurt you, whatever wounded you, whatever caused you loss or pain in the situation, you have been recovering from it. You have been recovering from it. So there's definitely an energy of what, when you get some kind of opportunity, you need to give some deep thought to it. Because your intuition is telling you which way you need to go. And I'm definitely feeling in this energy. Yeah, for some of you, there is just give some deep thought and then choose what's right for you. I can definitely say the cards are saying this new opportunity with the devil is... <laughs> it feels somebody who caused you pain before is coming back round offering some kind of new beginning. Uh, the devil is a card of instability, toxic relationships, codependency, addiction. So for some of you, you know, I would hope this, is, you know, it can be to do with addiction. Those of you trying to break free of addiction, there could be some opportunity from the past coming your way that is tempting you back, luring you back. This can be in terms of love. This can be in terms of, you know, a person in your life that caused you pain. And that's what I'm seeing in the cards here. You're being assisted in which, which way you need to go here. The Ace of Pentacles is manifesting a new path. Um... It feels like you're being guided, given a helping hand by the universe, towards a new path, to
to do with this devil energy, but I definitely feel, I mean, devil is Capricorn energy. It could be a Capricorn. Um, it's not limited to that, but it's somebody who, where there was either power struggles, um, manipulation, and it's the attraction, very difficult to break free of with the devil because it's so alluring. So that's what I can tell you, most definitely. This message is, have you learned the lesson yet? Because this is making a judgment call. You're being lured in, tempted, tempted in with this devil energy. And there's a message of there needs to be, this will require you to act to make some kind of judgment call. So yeah, give some deep thought to a situation, I have to say, and make the right decision for you. You have two paths available to you. The opportunity to go back around the cycle, you know, again, there is definitely this energy of cycles being repeated potentially. Or for some of you, choosing to step through to a new phase of your life and draw a line, a, a final completion to do with something, breaking free of some karmic cycle, almost lessons being learning lessons that kind of energy because the judgment can be a card of letting go um so for some of you it is making some kind of judgment call that's right for you leo i can only say what's in the cards here there is definitely an energy here of there is an opportunity somebody from the past is coming back into your life and again, there is some kind of judgment call to make. Yeah, so it feels and it can surprise you a little bit. There will be a little bit of a surprise here, but giving some deep thought because it feels like it took a lot to get over this person or to, to recover from the damage they did here in this situation. So there's definitely an energy of self-preservation, self-protection. Whatever judgment call you make, make sure that you take the time to make the right judgment call for you. And that is about obviously seeing the light, getting clarity on which way you want to go. Yeah, it's a powerful reading, Leo. Obviously it won't be for everybody, so do take what resonates with you. But yeah, I, I definitely feel this energy of... You know, you have the ability to break free of this karmic cycle. It's almost like once and for all. This might have repeated before. Um, and again, the universe is saying, have you learned the lesson yet? It is quite clear. So for some of you, obviously it won't resonate with everybody. Take what resonates with you, Leo. Feels like a powerful message for someone. So what do we have for... Leo, please, is the final message. Thank you. Yeah, we have transformation. This very tells you to, sur to surrender to a transformation in your life that's happening for your highest good. Embrace your transformation. The best is yet to come. Yeah. <laughs> I do feel think good things can, can happen. You're being leaded towards some kind of new beginning here. There is a new beginning available. If you allow yourself to step through to a new phase of your life, for some of you, there is some judgment call, a powerful judgment call being made this week. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed the reading, Leo. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.